appealing things about sports is its endless variety. And along the Florida beaches, one finds variety at its best. Fun for all who seek it. Here is a game called Pateca, a popular pastime imported from Swank Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. Played with a flat-bottomed feathered bird, and with anywhere from one to four nets, Pateca combines some of the obvious elements of handball and badminton along with some even more obvious elements of gymnastics. This is a deep sea fisherman's paradise. Look in on a party on the trail of a giant ray. Included in the group is Tom Harmon, former Michigan All-American grid star who recently was released from the Army Air Forces. This is a pleasant contrast for him after war service which found him lost in the jungles of Dutch Guiana and shot down over China. Harmon, like many flyers, found Florida a perfect rehabilitation center. One stinging swish of its tail, a giant ray can make you sorry you ever sought an introduction. Take a peek into a Miami Beach classroom. What has it to do with sports, you may wonder? Well, this modern young school mom is the answer, and these kids never fail to show the right amount of interest. Muriel Smith, who was runner-up to Miss America a few years ago, not only knows her three R's, but she also knows the right answers on the high diving board. She's one of the outstanding woman divers in this section. Muriel refused many screen and modeling contracts, preferring to remain a school teacher. Here's some evidence of her diving talents coming up. waters of Biscayne Bay provide a test course for PT boats. Betty Costas, well-known sportswoman, pilots one of these bucking marine broncos. Another who knows how to handle them is Gar Wood, famed designer and race enthusiast, whose years of experience with power boats proved helpful to the war effort. Moving to a sandlot baseball field, we find Leo DeRocha in a familiar setting, arguing with the umpire. The Dodger manager belts one, and soon is reminded of what he's known for a long time. The umpire, whether he is 6, 60, or even Big George Major Kurth, has the last word. Switch to some activity on a little more glamorous scale. These girls look like a group of college co-eds, but as you see them now, they're the South Bend, Indiana, entry in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, now in its third year of successful operation. Max Carey, one-time big league star and holder of the National League stolen base record, is president of the circuit. A little pep talk from him goes a long way with the girls. Here left to right are a regular baseball, girls' baseball and standard softball. Many former major leaguers hold posts in the league. 
Racine manager Charles Stice, formerly with the St. Louis Browns, gives some batting pointers. Marty McManus, ex-Red Sox performer, pilots the South Bend Indiana Club. McManus shows him how to field a fast-hopping grounder, and an infielder emulates him perfectly. Connie Wisniewski of Grand Rapids displays her pitching talents. Rules limit delivery to underhand throwing. Salaries for some girls run as high as $150 a week. Connie is followed by Charlotte Armstrong of South Bend. Several girls in the league have hurled no hitters. What's the unorthodox style that's coming up? Here's some fast action featuring Racine and South Bend. These girls play the game all the way. Six teams make up the league, including Racine, Wisconsin, Rockford, Illinois, Kenosha, Wisconsin, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and South Bend, Indiana. It's good for a single, but she's gonna try to stretch it to a double. Watch her yank off a cap as she sails for second. An honest-to-goodness slide is one indication of a fast brand of baseball that finds great favor among a large and varied fandom. Games are played every day, and the league schedule runs from late May until early September, winding up in a playoff for the championship. A chaperone travels with each club on its road trips. The players on these clubs are not necessarily hometown products. Talent scouts seek them out, just as the big league scouts get their stars. And the girls come from as far away as Arizona and Boston. They play for pay, and they play for keeps. This is action all the way.